Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight for the news at 11. I'm Tanya Mendes. Tonight, a hospital is on lockdown after an intense manhunt that is still underway in Chester County. Lancaster Medical Center made the announcement on social media just moments ago, stating that the move was out of an abundance of caution due to the situation unfolding with murder suspect Tyler Terry at large. They added that the lockdown will continue through the night. The Chester County Sheriff's Office also giving us this new photo of suspect Tyler Terry tonight. Terry is accused of two murders and several shootings in South Carolina. He's also wanted for killing two people in Missouri. Terry has been on the run since Monday after firing at Chester County deputies during a car chase. And then on Friday, deputies charged an alleged accomplice, Adrian Simpson and Terry, with 33 year old Eugene Simpson's murder. Authorities say Terry and Adrian Simpson are tied to a series of violent crimes in both Carolinas. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joins us now live from Chester County at Louisville High School, where she's been staging all day. Lexi, what are investigators saying about this hospital lockdown? Well, Tanya, I just spoke with officials at the Chester County Sheriff's Office, and they say they are aware of the lockdown, but they are not currently searching in that area for Terry. Now, Terry hasn't been seen since Thursday, and as the days go on, there's concern that this won't end well. The manhunt continues. Officers canvass Chester County using dogs and drones in the search for this man, Tyler Terry. I recognize the community's frustrated that we don't have him in custody, and I can promise you there's nobody more frustrated than, than me. Deputies are still focusing on the area of Sloan Road and Fishing Creek. Authorities are asking people to pay attention to barns, crawl spaces, and outbuildings. They say do not check these places yourself, but be aware of any unusual activity like open doors. We have learned some things about him that would allow him to have some ability to survive a, a, a period in, in a wooded area. As the days stretch on, former assistant director of the FBI, Chris Swecker, says there's growing concern this won't end peacefully. As each day goes by, as each hour goes by, the uh, suspect is more desperate, more fatigued, and more, shall we say, mentally deteriorated to the point where it was dangerous on day one. It gets more dangerous as these conditions exacerbate. Law enforcement will be conducting welfare checks on neighbors and businesses in the area as the manhunt continues. Something will happen when you least expect it. He'll show up when you least expect it. We've seen this happen over and over again. And this information just coming in to me right now, we spoke with the PIO, the Public Information Officer of Lancaster sheriff's office and they are saying that earlier today at the hospital they did receive reports of somebody that looked like Terry now they did scope out that area and they could confirm that there was no sighting of him so that could be the reason for that lockdown at that hospital now on your screen you should have a tip line number they are asking that you call that if you see any suspicious activity or Terry or just call 911 now of course they say no detail it uh, will go unnoticed so make sure you have have a call or excuse me make sure that you call if you do have any details reporting live in Chester County for WCNC Charlotte I'm Lexi Wilson this manhunt just continues Lexi thank you for the update and stick with WCNC Charlotte for the latest developments on air online and of course inside the WCNC Charlotte news app